this is Chad Perkins from MoviesAndComputers.com in our fourth and final tutorial in our series on how to use Adobe Story. So in previous tutorials, we've talked about how to use Adobe Story and how to write and how to do pre-production stuff. Well, what happens after that? What happens when you're ready to shoot and then edit your screenplay? Adobe Story actually has help for that part of the process as well. Now, in the authoring view, I have my screenplay open. I'm going to go to the File menu, go to Export As. I'm going to export this as the Adobe Story Interchange Format .astx. I've already gone ahead and done that, but then I'm going to go over to Adobe On Location. Now, Adobe On Location is a tool for production. So if you have a camera attached to your uh, computer, you can record straight to your computer without having to record to tape or whatever else you're going to record to. Now, with my particular workflow, I don't use on location on set, but I can still use Adobe Story to help me out. I'm going to go to the file menu, choose import Adobe Story script. Again, this is in on location. I've already created a little project here. That's that's important to note. And I have here my Monday the 16th script from Adobe Story, the .astx file. I'm going to go ahead and click on open. Now, when on location imports that script from Adobe Story, it will make placeholders for every scene in the script. It will even tell you the shot location. Incredibly helpful. And now, even if I didn't shoot my footage in on location, I could still use on location to connect my footage with my script. So I'm going to go over here to Jason's Kitchen 04. Now this is not one shot. This is going to be a scene full of multiple shots. So what I need to do is right click on it and choose breakout scene. Then I could choose how many of each type of shot I'm going to use. Now I actually used several more than this in the real movie, but for right now I'll just say I had one close up in this uh, scene. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And there is my breakout shot here, 0401. Uh, so I have that shot here uh, from the kitchen scene, and I'm going to drag and drop this. It was already recorded, so I didn't record it in on location. Drag and drop it to this placeholder, and now this is connected. Now if I wanted to here, I could set in and out points using the standard tools here. And I could also um, do some kind of script supervisor type stuff. I could check if this is a good take. I could give it a rating, that type of thing. You'll also see that once this clip is selected in the media browser, and they're connected, I can go over to the metadata panel and open up script and I can see information about this scene inside the metadata of that clip. Now for those of you that use Premiere, this helps even further. I'm gonna go over to Premiere here and we can actually use the data from this on location project in Premiere, but it is kind of tricky. You have to be very specific in the way that you do it. If you just double click in the project panel the same way I import most of my clips, uh, you can't do it. It'll say that you can't use that on location project. So you have to actually go to the media browser. And even then, there's not much you can do with the on location project, which I've navigated to here. I actually need to double click it. Then I could see the clips that are connected. Then I can import them. And that data, as you can see here from the scene and the shot, that will carry over from on location as well as the in and out points. So as you can see with Adobe Story, when you take an idea, just even from a concept point of view, and you're just building it with log lines and with the pitch and with character biographies and research links, all the way through pre-production, production, and post-production, Adobe Story is this amazing tool to help you through the job. Now, if you like this tutorial and you would like us to make more tutorials, you can go to our website at moviesandcomputers.com and donate $1. That could be your good deed for the day. <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash moviesandcomputers, and visit Movies and Computers to request more tutorials, talk with us on the forums, and all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my friends.